this is Joanne. How are you today? I hope well. I am going to make a layout for Scrap Our Stash Design Team, and this is the monthly sketch challenge. And look at this super cool sketch by Brenda Ragsdale. Isn't that fabulous? So in this, we have a piece of paper title, two tags. That's really cool. I wouldn't have thought of that on my own and two photos and two photos and a tag and you have to follow the sketch or be inspired by it and you have to use a tag a tab and some twine so those are the requirements so i'm going to leave the scrap our stash facebook group and our website blog in the description box below if you would like to play along okay so there's the sketch and I'm going to use these two awesome photos. I have scrapped this photo before and a similar one to this. I did one for my album. Now I'm going to do one for her album. So this was on Easter. So I am using the April Hip Kit Club kits from 2022, which is all Easter themed. And for my large piece of paper, I picked this. Is that not super pretty or what? Oh my gosh, I love it. And I put two scalloped type border punches on the side and I drew a couple little lines so I would know where the middle would be. Just cover those up like that. We'll go ahead and stick that down. I usually use my ATG, but I picked this up um, from scrapbook.com. of ephemera picked out from the kits and oh my gosh the ephemera is so 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 pretty and let's start I guess we'll start over here and this is a beautiful rainbow but I kind of want it more for the florals than I necessarily do the rainbow part but it's going to look really cute peeking out from there too so let's try that this is a piece of chipboard, and I just thought it matched perfect right here in this spot. We'll see if we leave that there or not. Just kind of pick some stuff out that I liked. I think I'll put those over someplace else. And look how cute this flower is. We'll put this like that. Or maybe like this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let me get my glue. I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. Just corner it on the corner of the photo itself and hold it for a second so it doesn't move or slide around with the glue. Alright, so we'll get this chipboard. Oh, it's stuck. We'll get this chipboard rainbow. Oh, look, my glue just blew up on me. Okay, got that now. All right. I'm going to use my tweezers for this because I don't want to ruin my paper. Let's judge where I want to put it. I think it's just really, really pretty with all the flowers on the bottom of it, isn't it? Okay, and I did do a lot of um, ink smudges on the edges of almost everything. You can see some here. And on the picture and the tags, I put them on just to make them stand out from the background paper more. And let me see what else do I have here. All right. Look at this cute flower. I was thinking about tucking that in under there just to make that cluster a little bit bigger. Go ahead and put some glue on that. And lift this up a little bit. Just kind of. Sneak it in there. Kind of looks like a sun. 
I'm going to put a couple pieces of leaf ephemera on this. Maybe, I think, like this. And then sneak that in there. How's that look? Not bad. Let me turn my paper. And I'm going to push down and then sneak under with my glue. Just so I don't have to lift it up and put it back again. I think this is going to need a little form square off camera too. And also one there. See? All right, what else do we have? Um, oh, I have some little cute butterflies. Let me show you how adorable these are. Little teeny black and white butterflies. I put a couple gems in the middle. Because you know I do that. I'm just going to put a little butterfly right there in this cluster. Give that a second to adhere to the paper. And the good thing you can do is Hold down the middle with your tweezers and then come with your fingers and then press the wings up like that. Okay. And look at this chipboard rainbow with that adorable bird on it. And this is um, uneven to me. So I'm going to tuck it in here. So it comes around like this next to the tag. But is like framed in there. Isn't that cute? I like it. All right, so again, I'm just going to come in with some glue and sneak it underneath there. And I'll glue the photo right to the chipboard there. Um, what else do I have? This is a really cool, it looks like a flower pot, doesn't it? It says love on it, but I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to use it just for the floral part. And I thought tucking it Right in the corner of this tag here was adorable. So I'll come in and put some more glue under my tag now. Straighten out my twine. And a lot of times I do glue my twine down just because I want it to stay where I want it, especially once you get it in the page protector. I don't want to be fussing with it. And then I think this one going to have come down because the tag's going down so I'll have this go down a little glue there I'll glue this down too there pretty all right let's go ahead and glue that down while we're at it I love gingham ribbon. Let's put a little cluster down here. I think this together piece of ephemera is adorable right for on directly on my photo. Okay, so there's that one. So let's see if we can get those in somewhere. So I have another butterfly, figure out some place to put that. And then I picked out all these things to make a cluster here. So I've got several flowers. And look at this bunny. Oh my gosh, that bunny. I love it. Adorable. So I'm thinking about cornering this here. Like so. And then this is beautiful in a little bottle. But I don't really want the bottle part. I just kind of want the floral part. Put that there. This one I want for oops for the leaf part. So I was thinking about coming in and slipping this right underneath here. I want to get this bunny in here somewhere too, but I'm wondering if I need to put him up on some foam squares just to make him stand out a little bit more. I'm wondering. He's so cute. Ooh, we got a butterfly. Where shall we put that? Up there. Like this. Kind of like the bunnies looking at the butterfly because that's adorable. <clears throat> Here we go. Hold down. Press the wings up with your fingers. Give it a second to dry and adhere to the paper. And then it looks really cute. I like it. Then 
let's see about these sentiment strips. Who can resist this? Maybe that will look good there. Kind of fill in that space. I don't mind that. That looks adorable. So let me pull it back out and I'm going to put some glue on it. And hopefully we can get this right back in there without making a mess. Hopefully. Yo, we did it. Who can resist this? Okay, that's good. I like that. And then I've messed around with this so much, I'm going to have to re-glue this and put that back down where it was in the first place. But that's okay, right? I always do that. Sometimes I'll mess around with something and it ends up going right back where it was in the beginning. Now I'm going to glue under here where I put my fingerprints all over the place trying to figure those tabs out. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to need a foam square underneath right there. So I'll do that off camera. I'm definitely doing pink fresh gems because you know I always do anyways. But I picked out these three colors. Aren't they going to go perfect? Look. Perfect. All right, I'm going to put those down. I am debating on splatters and I thought I would use white in pure white from alt to new and I just want to put like some here very little here and some here so let's go ahead and do that so usually what I do with my pink gems pink fresh gems is I put some in the little tray here so I can just pick them quick and the small and medium ones are the size of my choice for layouts because I think the large ones are just too big except if they go in the middle of the flower but the large ones are really nice for when you do cards we have all of that down and you saw me do the splatters I did come in with some pink after the white I just thought it needed it I'm going to look through the rest of the items in the kit it came with these two beautiful alphas oh my god I love them I think I'm just gonna put a title like Easter nothing I'm not good at titles there's puffies and little flowers and all these look at that little bunny yeah there's chipboard let me see Hmm. Oh, look at that little us. Ooh, there's photo corners, too. Yep, put that there. But let's take these out and use some of these little hearts. How cute are those? Okay, here's a pink one. Um, 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 um. Let's put a little heart there. There's yellow and green. I just want to use things up. Let's put a little green one next to the pink one here. And then we'll put a yellow one there. Here's a bunch of sentiments. Maybe I could put a sentiment strip on these tabs up there. So let's pull that out and look. Um... Easter wishes. I like it. And then we'll just put that right here. Like, maybe if we do it wonky, it'll look cute and it'll match how these are crooked. All right, I like that. This one that says love this, maybe I can get that there. Yeah, I'm doing it. Gotta get straight though. Just to use some stuff up. I still don't think that's straight. Good enough. Okay, we're done with that. 
let's open these up and look. Maybe I can stick some stuff on here just to start using things up. See if I get that in there. That almost looks good. No, that's cute. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It needs to come down just a little bit because it's hitting that frame, and I don't like that. Okay, I'm leaving that there so we can use things. I think I'll use these green ones so they stand out a little bit more. And I think I'm just going to put Easter here. And if I do that, I might have to use move my little puffy hearts. So let's see where we can move those two. One here. And this green one. I definitely want this green one on there. Let's try to put something up here. All right, there's that. And then let's do Easter right here. I sped a lot of that up so you could see what I actually do instead of doing stuff off camera. I hope that you like that. Let me know below if you liked it or not because I can cut it out for future videos if you thought it was too much. So here we go. We're going to do some close-ups. Look at that beautiful pattern paper in the middle. I love it so much. And that awesome photo. And I do like the top there. Everything's all wonky and crooked. I think it looks cool. And I did add that little puffy bunny in there because I couldn't help myself. I just couldn't. And the pink fresh gems and everything and my tags. And I did outline the Happy Easter with just a black marker to make it pop a little bit more. And here's this cluster. I think it looks good. Here's that right there, that little cluster. Pink fresh gems. I love this little rainbow. All right, guys, I'll take pictures and put close ups at the end. I hope you like it. Don't forget to stop over to Scrap Our Stash and check it out and grab this sketch for yourself if you would like to use it. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping by to see me. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.